Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today I am touring the island of Cedar Grove by Garden Lantern Lisa. Garden Lantern Lisa is just an amazingly kind member of the community and she made this island and I really wanted to share it with you guys. She just gave it to me for me to look at but I was really inspired and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so this was a challenge island and the rules of the challenge were that there were no spending bells with the following exceptions. You must spend 40k to place plots 7 to 10, but that was easily done with the money that she earned from rocks each day. She also bought the two cheapest items from Mabel when she visited in order to get the shop. You can get five stars without the tailor, but she wanted to have the building and she needed to get five stars. So buying the slingshot DIY was 300 bells and the starter tools DIY from Timmy in the resident services tent was 495 bells and all in she spent less than 2k bells, not counting the housing plots. She was allowed to use any items that she got from leaf drops from trees, balloons, or gifts from villagers. She couldn't buy any more of them, so all she could use was what she got. She was not allowed to buy customization kits because no bells. So whatever an item was, when she found or crafted it, that's how it stayed. There was no customizing anything. She could buy Nook Miles items to decorate with, but that was a real choice each day, grind for more miles, or spend what she had on a Captain Island in hopes of getting a new DIY. She didn't use HHP, so no customizing houses or buying items with Pokey, but she did allow the use of Amiibos to get themed or preferred villagers. It was really fun, and she learned how to use pathing much better than she ever had before. So... From start to finish, this island took her nine days. Nine days, you guys. The only thing she got from Nintendo Online were custom codes, which was just wild. And she made this island, and honestly, I think it's really beautiful. If she hadn't told me that it was a challenge island, I would have never known. Like seriously, what? How do you do this in nine days with no money, no bells, and just grinding what you could in the game? That's just an absolutely monumental task. So back this way, we have our Able sisters and she decided to turn this into a little sewing center, which is really cute. Kind of like Joanne's has those little sewing classes. It did turn out really cute. We have a little teddy bear over here because whatever she got from trees she used, those items are really hard. She apparently also did the May Day maze. So she has Grover's briefcase and Kitty down there on the beach. I can imagine that beaches would have been hard to decorate in an island like this. So I don't expect any of them to be decorated. Over here, we have a little workstation, like a little garden center, and it looks super cute. Everything is all natural in the front of the island. The blue lighthouse, she was not thrilled with, but I did mention to her that blue and orange are complementary colors. So it actually really does work with her island. And this was a nice way to do river mouths. It came out really cute. She did get her gyroids from digging them up and those came out really cute as well. The pathing looks phenomenal. I can totally see how she can say that she improved on placing pathing because that was kind of a crucial part of this island. It is super beautiful. And then I'm going to go to the other side of Resonance Services and I will meet you guys over there. I said resident services, but I meant the entrance. We're gonna go to the right of the entrance and we're gonna go in front of resident services where there's this cozy little um, area right here and none of the DIYs could be customized. So the in-game DIYs look awesome. If you're not sure how to customize or anything like that, this would be the island for you. I can't imagine all of the watering she did in order to get the orange and black flowers, but if you're curious, the orange, pink, and black flowers are the easiest hybrids to get. So those are really nice, and the gyroids look super cute in their little gyroid choir over here by Resident Services. That is really adorable. 
So Lisa is a straight line queen, and if you can guess what her favorite item is, you would know that her other island is full of garden lanterns, and they're all very linear. So this island was an incredible shock to me. She's an absolutely amazing person, but she does love her straight lines. So seeing this really did shock my system just a little bit. So Blathers was set up in his tent over here, which was really perfect with the boxes and all of the things. It looks like he was just packing and setting up like he's doing a little expedition here. And I thought that looked really cute over here on the beach. Nook's Cranny is right over here and is very simple. I do see that she fed her little uh, straight line kind of um, obsession with the squaring in of all of the buildings. And I think that made her feel a little bit better. But she has a little popcorn machine and a pinball machine and the blue candy machine. She got really lucky with colors because they all do really go together. So it was kind of funny when I saw she said she couldn't customize, but she got an orange record player and all of the colors ended up being very harmonious that she was assigned on this island, which is really cool. Over here we have the other river mouth, which kind of mirrors the river mouth on the left hand side. Really nice. And she made a little gas station here. She wasn't sure why she placed the rocket, but honestly, when you only can use what you get in balloons and you're making an island in nine days, you use what you can get. And I imagine she got the rocket, it matched, it was red, it was fine. So if you come all the way over here, we have another little seating area right next to the river mouth over here. Very nice. We have bug models, which she grinded to get from Flick and I really do appreciate that hustle right there. So we have a little bit of kind of like a whimsical river divider. There was no bell spent, so there are land bridges to mimic the like bridges that she would normally have. Since there were no inclines, this island is also flat. So if you're not into terraforming, this is an island that you really would want to pay attention to. So all of these little land bridges, along with the bridge that you get in the very beginning of the game, that is the first free bridge you get, which she placed behind resident services, which is really smart. And then a few more land bridges along this back area right here. Um, it's all very symmetrical. I appreciate that. And then over here, we have a cute little seating area. She said she couldn't get more than four rocks to spawn in her rock garden. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I do appreciate this beautiful rock garden with the maple umbrella right there. It does look really good. And then I do love fall in game. Fall is my favorite season to tour in game. The little pumpkins look super cute right here. She shared a secret that she doesn't like the mush DIYs or like the fall items in the game, but they look so good. So hopefully she changed her mind about that because they do look really good on this island. We have some little gardens along this river mouth right here. And on the back of the island, as you can guess, she fed her linear straight line soul. And it still looks really good. It still actually looks very whimsical, but um, it's definitely symmetrical and in a straight line, which is what her general style is. We have the first villager house, like I said, mush items, and she does not like mush items. I think they look fantastic. So here we have the first villager's house. It looks so beautiful and it has a lot of flowers in the yard and bug models and the fall items. If you are doing an island where you want to do the grind and the hustle, fall is the best season to do it in because the DIYs in fall are really, really good. The ones in spring are okay too with the cherry blossoms, but I think the ones in fall are better. We have turkey day, we have mush season, and we also have um, Halloween. So all of the spooky mush, maple leaf, and um, what's his name? The turkey that comes, his DIYs, those are all abundant on this island. It looks so good. 
we have the little arch right here. I love that arch. And I remember the first time I made it, there was a grind and a hustle to get all of the items that you need to make that arch, but it does look really pretty. Let me show you the map real quick because I wanna show you the linear houses that we have going along going on around now i made an island map for her once and this is very reminiscent of the kind of neighborhood she had on that map as well she did line up the villager houses five and five with the residence house over on the peninsula also what an amazing peninsula to get for an island like this where you can fit your residence house that's just really cool everything on the map actually looks very symmetrical which is really funny because in person, it looks very whimsical and beautiful. So we're gonna keep coming along this way. All of these walkways are super beautiful. And we have the second row of houses. Kiki is looking adorable on this island and I do love all of the gyroids singing to us everywhere. And all of these beautiful monarch models look so good throughout the island. We're just going to continue on and see all of the villagers' houses with all of the little fencing around them and how she customized them for everybody. There's a little clothesline pole on this one. I also like the roof on this house with the fall feeling of this island. It looks really good. Everything looks so pretty over here. I would never ever believe that this was such a huge challenge island. I would think maybe it was like a flat island challenge, but I would never ever think it was like a 10 day island challenge. It was actually a 30 day challenge, but she did it in 10. The villagers all have their own individual and custom fencing, which is really, really cool. And then over here, we have another villager house. I believe this is either Rudy or Kiki's house. They have twin houses, but it is really cute. And this is, I think, the last villager house in the neighborhood, and it's really cool. I love how she got all of the villager houses to match the theme. This is Shep's house. Shep is an amazing villager. He's actually my husband's birthday twin. Super cute. And yes, we are at the end of that. The back of the island actually just goes in a straight line. And if you've ever been to any of my dream addresses, then you might know a little secret that I do keep the back of my island. I keep a tile back there to run across the back of every single island that I make because I like having my shortcuts, um, even though my islands are very stuck core. So. That is something that we definitely have in common. Over on the back rocks over here, there's a beautiful little turkey day area though that shows that she did the grind with Franklin. See, I suddenly remembered his name. She did the grind with him and got his items, which are perfect on this island. At her house, she was able to do this cute little seating area. And can we look at the baby house? This is so cute. She also did this island with no storage, which is crazy and amazing. This island has been so cool to see. When she showed it to me, I asked if I could share it with you guys, because those of you who really love challenges like me can totally appreciate how hard an island like this is to make. All of the blue and or orange look so harmonious together, and I love that color combination. It is one of my favorites. And because this island was so easy to navigate, I'm gonna have to say that is it. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you so very much. I know that your time is incredibly valuable and there are so many places on the internet that you can possibly be. So I appreciate that you spent your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.